So who are our passengers? We have three student nurses and one regular Starfleet nurse. It is a bit of a long trip so Starfleet wants a regular nurse to watch over them. With just us three in the cockpit. That's an odd dish. Where did you get it? Some funny looking troll with huge ears sold it to me. It tastes pretty good. You should be careful what you eat. Has it been tested? Don't worry about it. This is pretty tasty. We need to get off the ground. Launch time is 15 minutes. Let's get to the ship. Hi I am Ensign Sheila Gordon. I have been asked to accompany you to the Academy, being unassigned to any starship at the moment. I am Abigail Mander. I joined to see the stars and help heal people. I am Catherine Wayland. Adventure is what I am seeking. Going to the stars is my goal. Mindy Gould is my name. I have always wanted to be a nurse. Starfleet has afforded me the opportunity that I never could have had otherwise. Captain Parker, what is the status of your ship? I need to get to Starbase 30. Well Admiral Base personnel have been tweaking the engines and other systems. They are almost done. Okay I will tell them to pick up the pace. I need to get there. Captain's Log Shuttle Lansing on our way to Proxima B to deliver three nurses to the orbiting facility there for training. Can't you see them? Giant space creatures headed right for us. Turn around now. Run. Go back and take a break. You have been working too long hours. Go ahead. We'll stay up here. No. Turn around. Stop. I will stop you. Put the phaser down. I am relieving you of duty. Computer, emergency manual override. This is Ensign Sheila Gordon. Report on damage to ship's systems. Ship's flight controls have suffered heavy damage and are inoperative. Imbalances are occurring in ship's systems due to the damage. Can you set course to a planet where we can land? The planet Lewitton B is close by. It is habitable with a humanoid species known to be living there. Gravity is higher than that of Earth. Set course for the planet, best speed. Upon arrival, set the ship down on the surface in a safe place. Acknowledged. Recommendation, transport from orbit. The ship's damage may cause it to crash killing everyone on board. I will attempt damage control. Proceed to planet Liyuit and B computer, activate distress beacon. Grab as much as you can. Give preference to food and water. 
we will only have a few minutes to evacuate. What equipment do we have available? Tricorders? Phasers? We have one damaged tricorder, rations for about a week if we stretch them, and a communicator. That's it. Try to get the tricorder working. We will need it. I think we can walk toward a settlement I detected. It's really pretty. I wouldn't mind staying here for a while. Let's do a little exploring. Come on Sheila. Captain, message coming in from Starfleet. A Federation shuttle has gone missing, and we are ordered to investigate. They were expected at planet Proxima B, and are a day late. Download their flight plan and send it to navigation. Navigator, set a course toward their starting point. Ahead warp 6. Captain, why has there been a course change? I need to get to Starbase 30. Admiral we have received new orders straight from Starfleet to investigate the disappearance of a long-range Federation shuttle. We have set a course. I know, and at the opposite of where I am headed. I have friends in Starfleet. Captain's log after the Admiral contacted Starfleet, we were diverted back to Starbase 30. We have just arrived, and the Admiral has been transported down. Deanna Phillips, a search and rescue officer, has been transported aboard, and is joining us in the conference room. Lieutenant Phillips, what do you suggest for a search area? I recommend the planet you wouldn't be. Why would you say that planet? I am not even familiar with it. I doubt the captain is either. Planet Lewitton B is an Earth-like planet orbiting a red dwarf star. It is 100 light years from Earth, and is known to have a limited Type 1 civilization. Thank you Science Officer. Now to answer the Captain's question, that planet is in the general area where it is believed they disappeared. If they had to find a place to set down, they would be a logical place. Okay we will set course for that planet first. If we don't find anything, we will expand the search area. I have the tricorder working. There is a reading off to our east. It does not match what we know about this planet. What are you reading? Animals? No Sheila. It's a spaceship, one unknown humanoid and things that read like brains. Like brains? I think we need to investigate. Take us just to visible range. Sheila, I don't think we should go anywhere near them. I don't like this. I agree Mindy but I do want to look this over really well. Set your tricorder to record. We need more of the humanoids. Many of our kind are reaching the age of transfer. 
Yes master it will be done. I have one ready now. We will procure more. Bring out the new brain and the humanoid. No, stop. Let me go. We need to get to the town as soon as we can. Let's get out of here. Hello travelers. I am Dr. Lawrence Kunz. How may I help you? We are from a distant place. We are nurses. These three are student nurses. All of us are lost. We could help you out in exchange for a place to stay. My name is Sheila. I think we can accommodate you. Come on in. We are short on staff because of fear of the night beasts. The night beasts? What are they? They take our people. Sometimes they return, but only with basic biological skills. All their knowledge is gone. Even when they return, they die, and we have not been able to figure out why. We do know their brains are damaged. Come. We will give you a tour, and set you up with quarters. Nurse give him 5 cc's pain medication. Yes doctor. I see that his injuries could use regen. I heard your ways are different than ours. We will train you in. You have a small cancer in your left shoulder. One minute. What us that thing? What did you do to me? I eliminated your cancer. You are as good as new. Don't do that again. We cannot reveal ourselves or we will be in violation of the Prime Directive. But Sheila, Catherine healed the girl and got rid of her cancer. How is that interfering? Their technological level is much below ours. We cannot reveal our true nature to them. Come to this room over here. I need to speak with you. What is it about? I am afraid to go in a room alone like that. It's about the brains. I have information for you. We call our world praxis. Centuries ago we created the brain creatures you saw. They were used to control everything in our society 
freeing us up for lives of intellectual pursuit. They needed to be programmed with the brains of living beings. So we developed this method of transference. Why are you telling me this? Aren't you a part of it? No, I don't want to be part of it anymore. It is wrong to use other beings like that. Now tell me a little about yourself. I am Sheila Gordon from the United Federation of Planets. We were forced to abandon ship and transported down here. They are suspended in a nutrient solution once per day. Master, I told you that this was the best approach, rather than torturing her. Excellent work. Can you find a compatible brain for her? I believe so, Master. The others are too young, but she will provide a good imprint. Take her to the ship. Leave the others here. They pose no threat.